It's been about two weeks since I got the ZWO AM5 harmonic drive mount and it's been a dream to work with. It's so portable, I got to travel with it already. I drove down with the family to Fort Davis, Texas to do some deep sky astrophotography under Bortle 2 night skies. The Bortle dark sky scale is a scale that measures light pollution from one to nine, one being the darkest, nine being the worst. Bortle 2 is just one below the absolute darkest skies that you can have. So it was awesome being able to image under skies that dark for the first time in my life. And I was able to have a complete imaging session with this mount exclusively. Now, in order to ensure that my imaging session would run smoothly moving forward, I had to make a slight modification. In the previous video, you may have noticed that I have the ASI Air Plus mounted on the side of the mount saddle here. It was mostly out of the way, but there was still a minor risk of it possibly rubbing up against the tripod or the base of the mount. So I felt more at ease relocating it back to the top of the telescope next to my guiding scope and that is now completely out of the way and i do have an additional solution to minimize the complete setup in general rubbing up against the tripod and i have a little mystery box that we're going to open here shortly that's going to help me give me a little more peace of mind running this setup automated whenever i can't be outside all night all right let's find out what's in the mystery box today gonna open her up There you go. It is a ZWO peer extension for the AM5 mount. This is gonna give me a little bit more height on my telescope so I don't have to worry about it rubbing up against the tripod anymore. So this is gonna be a welcome addition to my overall setup. Now that we got the peer extension installed on my AM5 rig, I have a lot more peace of mind to minimize any contact with the tripod and the imaging train here, as well as any cable snags. So this is probably the only constructive criticism I can offer about this mount is the propensity for potential cable snags and making contact with the tripod or the base of the mount if your imaging train is a little bit longer. Other than that, this mount has worked out really, really good. I am very happy with it. It's become my main mount for me to use. Unfortunately, replacing the EQ6R Pro, but that doesn't mean that the EQ6R is completely out of the question because it will be hosting my Celestron Edge HD8, which is heavier, and I'm a little more confident in that mount to support that larger telescope. My target this week was SH2108, also known as the Gamma Cygni Nebula. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a beautiful, busy region located in the constellation Cygnus. I found out about this region a little too late into 2022. It was too low on the horizon to get any meaningful exposures in, so I had to wait until this summer to try again, and sure enough, I was able to get all the exposures I needed to produce a final image that I'm about to show you. I got some of the exposures at the dark sky site I went to in Fort Davis, and I got the rest of them right here in my own backyard. So without further ado, using the ZWO AM5 exclusively, here is the Gamma Cygni Nebula. <laughs> 